guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a somewhat review and tutorial on a palette that I recently got. Um, now to start off, no I did not buy this with my own money. A friend of mine actually gave this to me. Her name is Fabi and she has a YouTube channel as well. She does fitness and I'll have her channel linked down below and I'll have it right here on the screen if you guys would like to check her out. But um, today's video is going to be on this very intriguing palette that I've got. So I feel like lately color has really been in for like eyeshadow looks and in the beauty community. So I got this palette, or she gave me this palette, but it is off of Amazon. And this is $15. I'll have the link down below for this if you guys would like to purchase it. But it comes with, I think, I think 120 colors. It's going to be a little difficult to show, but this is the top part. And again, like I said, this has been used and it's not brand new. So there are a couple of colors that are messed up, but they are still usable. So this is going to be hard to show you how this works. But basically, she put this little string on there, but it does have a tab. And you can pull it up. And then you get another whole full bottom row of colors there. So this comes with 120 colors, so there's 60 on each like palette. I absolutely am so excited to try this out. We're starting with the bare face just because I don't know how these are going to work. This is a first impression. I have not used it yet. I have swatched a couple of the colors that looked intriguing to me, um, but other than that, that's it. They do swatch really well from what I've seen, so I have high hopes for this but I didn't know if there was going to be any fallout or anything so I just wanted to kind of leave my face bare so we can just start from the beginning so now we're just going to jump right in I'm super excited okay so we're going to start with my Moda Pro blending brush per usual I'm not sure there's not really like transition shades in here since I'm using like pink and yellow Maybe I'll go into like a yellow orange color. Let's go into this one here. These also don't have names on them. You're kind of just going to have to see where I'm at. So this is in the third row in the bottom color. I'm just going to go right into that. And then I'm also, actually this is not a bad transition shade. Yeah, let's use this. All right. I'm super excited to try this palette out. I took a picture and posted it on my Instagram and asked if you guys wanted me to use this in a um, video and you guys said yes. A lot of you wanted like an in-depth tutorial with it with like a colorful look or colorful like smoky eye or something and I just want to say that is coming. I've got a new palette in my collection as well that I'm going to be doing a full dedicated video to that is also like a bright kind of colored palette. So. They are coming, um, and I'm excited. I don't play with a whole lot of color on my channel. I know that, and that kind of sucks. That's something that I really wanted to change when I started my channel back up when I took that break, like when I first moved in here. I really wanted to try new color and try new things and really, like, step outside of my comfort zone. So this is what I'm doing today. So this is my transition shade. I think it looks really good. So far the pigment is awesome and there's no fallout whatsoever. Like they're pressed really nicely in here. And this is pretty good pigment for just a transition shade. I think we're going to go ahead and jump into like a pink color and we're going to work that in the crease. So I'm going to grab this Luxie brush here. This is the Luxie 205. I think my main like pink color that I want to use is going to be this one right here. It's very bright but like deep. So I don't know. Let's just hop into this one. So this is the third to last row, fourth color down. Oh, you can't even see. Hold on. Um, it's this one right here. We're just going into this. I'm just going to work this in my crease first to kind of like get that pink color in there. But now we're going to hop into that pink shade. Like I said, I think I'm going to do um, this one right here I think is what I'm going to do. I'm not too sure. Let's just do it. So this is going to go on like the outer part of my eye. So I'm just going to pack this on the outer part of my eye. So I'm kind of just using this brush and buffing that into the outer part of my crease as well as dragging it over the top part. 
so that we really get a nice like crease shape because we are going to be cutting the crease today. I don't know if you can tell, but right here in this outer corner, you probably can't see it that well, but it is, I'm having a lot of trouble trying to get this pigment in. It's not wanting to stick to that outer corner, which kind of sucks, but all right. So now I'm going to go back into that transition shade that we used earlier, and I'm just going to kind of put this back in the crease and try to blend this pink out just a little bit. I think I want to deepen up the crease a little bit. I'm kind of going to mix in some purple with that pink. I think I'm going to take this one and just mix it with that pink color and hope for the best. I'm taking a Luxie 227T brush. The only bad thing about this palette is there's not like a good deep color to do this with. Like you kind of got to make your own thing here but it looks nice okay so this is what we're working with so far it looks kind of crazy I'm not even gonna lie I'm gonna go back in and blend a little bit and hope for the best so I'm gonna go in and cut the crease now I'm using that same AOA studio um concealer okay so i'm taking a little brush and i'm gonna go into this yellow color right here and this is gonna go where we put that concealer at i'm really just working on like stamping the color on to just get the pigment so far, this is what we've got. Now, I got yellow on the top part. So now I'm just taking my blending brush that's got a little bit of that pink on it. And I'm going right above the crease. I just want to kind of blow that out so that it's a little bit more dramatic with the crease portion. As if we need anything more dramatic than this. So far, you guys, I actually really like this palette. I think just from this eye look alone, this is well worth the $15 that you'll pay for this. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go in with a clean brush, and I'm just going to try to mend these colors together and really get that pink and yellow fused. So the only thing is these are not the smoothest eyeshadows. Um, they're not as creamy as regular eyeshadows. And by regular, I just mean stuff that you would buy at like the drugstore or, you know, name brand eyeshadows. They're not that creamy. They are very powdery um, consistency. But I still think that is really nice for this. So I'm actually going to go off camera and do the other eye and then I will be right back. I did both of those eyes and I don't know if you can see but right here there is fallout um, from that yellow shade. There wasn't a whole lot from the pink but there is definitely some from the yellow. But again that could be because I was packing it on rather than like blending it out which is probably why so right now i'm going to go in back with that pink color that we used and i'm just going to run this on the bottom lash line and try to really buff it out so far i like how this is turning out again this isn't something that i usually do at all actually so it's a little bit different and out of my comfort zone i don't think i've ever worn yellow eyeshadow nor did i ever think i was gonna wear yellow eyeshadow but so I'm going into that purple color that we used on our outer corner and I'm just going to smoke this kind of on the bottom lash line just to really make it pop. This is the eye look basically done, at least for the most part. I'm going to go on my bottom lash line and use this LA Girl, um, I mean LA Color White Eye Crayon just for my bottom lash line. Well, that is the eye look um i'm gonna go off camera and 
finish this up probably with some liner, mascara, finish my face, and then I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I really, really love it. I think it is so beautiful. I'm proud of it. Um, I'll have everything linked down below that I used on my face since I didn't show that as well as like the eyeliners and stuff. I am also wearing false lashes. I know some of you guys are like, what? Like Daphne's wearing falsies. Yes, girl, I am. These are the Baddington lashes. This is another thing I really wanted to start doing um, is wearing lashes. And I think they complement this look so well. It's so dramatic. I'm out of focus. So... My overall verdict on this palette is I absolutely love it. I think this is such a good palette and you can't beat it for 15 bucks, you guys, and 120 shades. I feel like, again, they're not the best quality. They're not going to be super creamy like your high-end eyeshadows are, but I will say they blended out so well on the eyes that... I can't even think about anything else like the pigment is so good and they blend so well and that's what I was worried about is that they were gonna be patchy they weren't gonna blend especially them being bright colors and a cheap palette I feel like it's kind of eh, you know but if you guys are looking for something especially you makeup artists out there or even just beginners that love to play with color I think this is something really well for you guys to start out with just because you have so many shades and it's very easy to just take on the go. I also wanted to kind of point this out that um, this bottom row here is also like neutral colors. So if you wanted something to kind of carry with you if you were doing um, other people's makeup and you didn't want to take a whole lot, I think this is like an all-in-one palette. The only thing I had trouble with was finding like an inner corner highlight, which I eventually used a... Um, like a face highlighter for it. My look turned out so good today, I feel. This is a really good, it's about to be fall time, so I'm gonna start doing like dark, smoky makeup looks with dark lips. So this is a really good like end of summer eye look, I think. I absolutely love it, actually. So if you guys would like to purchase this palette, I'll have it linked down below. And if you guys wanna see any other looks with this palette, definitely let me know because I'm down to do them. Um, I have really been loving like colorful eye looks lately and it really pushes me out of my comfort zone and I think it turned out really well today. So, But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you guys subscribe before you leave. And I guess I'll just catch you guys in my next video. Bye.